using Power BI as a tool will be more on the descriptive analytics part, meaning how do I pick an employee record and be able to describe the record in terms of gender balance, in terms of the numbers of employees, in terms of the age demographics of the employee, in terms of how many people are we recruiting in the organization in itself and be able to look at it over the entire lifestyle what is the length of service of the employees and be able to come up with something descriptive telling about what is really happening that is an example of descriptive analytics now in terms of the various tools that are usually employed to do hr analytics one very critical which is the number one tool is microsoft excel that's a tool you cannot run away from. That was why when we were doing uh, this registration for this class, we asked that simple question of what is your level of uh, Excel proficiency, basic, intermediate, or advanced, or expert. And we discovered that a larger percentage of the over 300 people that registered for this class actually has between basic and intermediate. Now, for you to be able to do analytics well and enjoy yourself, as a matter of fact, when we start to do the practical class in a couple of minutes, you will start to look at yourself and say, what's happening down here is because you need to get very, you need to take your level of Excel top notch. Another interesting tool, which is the one we're going to be concentrating our effort on today is Power BI. Power BI is a business analytics tool by Microsoft and makes it makes uh, HR analytics very interesting. As a matter of fact, we're going to be creating a sample dashboard today in the next couple of minutes. Now, what you would normally do when we are creating dashboard in Excel that can take you three hours, you can get it done in one hour in Power BI or even less, depending on your level of uh, proficiency in the use of Power BI. So I'm going to be deploying uh, another pool in a couple of minutes. But before I do that, there are other tools for analytics, uh, depending on the advanced level of analytics you're doing. Tableau and Quilling does similar as what Power BI does. There's SPSS, the, the statistical SPSS, there's Python, and there's R. R is like when you're dealing with big data analytics. Now, I am going to be going into what is Power BI. Power BI because Power BI is a data visualization tool. As a matter of fact, it is a business analytics service by Microsoft and it provides interactive visualization and business intelligence capability with an interface simple enough for end users to create their own reports and dashboard. As a matter of fact, with the use of Power BI, you can be able to create fast and easy access to your data that will help you to go from data to insight in minutes which is what we're going to be doing in a few minutes because if you now look at your hr data that is sitting in excel how do you visualize it how do you turn it into graphical form that's what power bi does power bi helps you to visualize your data so data visualization has to do with the graphical representation of data. So when I collect the data of the number of people that responded to the poll and I turn it into a pie chart, a pie chart is a simple data visualization uh, chart that helps you to represent what we call proportion. When I talk about column charts, I am intending to do what we do call comparison. And when it now comes to talking about some other data visualization tool, that is what we're going to be looking at in a few minutes. So interestingly is that Power BI can take data from various sources, as a matter of fact, from multiple sources. For you to use Power BI, you can take data from a lot of sources. We can take it from Excel, you can take it from a cloud source. You can take it from your Microsoft Dynamics, from your HR softwares, whichever software it is, you can plug it in into Power BI and be able to take uh, practice or be able to take in the data into Power BI and be able to analyze. Now, there are three major uh, parts of Power BI. So there are three major parts of Power BI. It consists of one, the Power BI desktop which is the one we're going to be using today 
in the practical session that I'm going to get to in a couple of minutes. Now, the second part is the Power BI service. The Power BI service is a cloud service. It operates as software as a service. It's on the cloud. That's the Power BI service. For you to have access to the Power BI service, you need an enterprise account. But not to worry, Power BI desktop is free, which is the one we're going to be illustrating with today. And also there is the Power BI mobile app. So as a matter of fact, you can actually download Power BI on your mobile app end. So I'm going to move into a practical session now. After you have downloaded Power BI desktop, that is when you will see what I am showing on my screen at the moment. So after you've downloaded Power BI desktop, you will see what uh, is showing on my screen. So by default, uh, the first time you open up Power BI, this is what you are going to see. Uh, you're going to see the Power BI window uh, trying to tell you what exactly do you want to do. Uh, you see get data, recent sources of data, uh, various um, stuff you have worked on before then. Uh, you can do the sign-in option, but I'm not doing that at this moment. So for now, all I need to do is close this. Uh, then once everything loads on, you'll be able to see the various parts of the Power BI window. Now, the version of Power BI I'm using is actually updated to May 2020. There is a possibility that the version you're using may not be updated to the version I am using. So if the screen is not looking similar, please don't be disturbed. It's just a function of version. But the, uh, the look and feel is going to be exactly the same. The look and feel of Power BI is going to be exactly the same. So how do you get to know the version of Power BI you're using? Just go to help on the Power BI uh, mode uh, tabs, go to help, then you see about on the left hand side of the screen. Once you click on the about option, you'll be able to see the version of Power BI you are using. Now, if you're using Windows 10, downloading Power BI is easier from your Microsoft store on your, phone, on your laptop. If you're using other versions of Windows, of windows that is not uh, windows 10 the link would help you to download so if you download power bi from your laptop and windows 10 microsoft store the possibility is that every time there is an update on power bi it pushes that update to the power bi on your system but if you download it from the website every time there is an update you need to go and manually download it so that's just the major difference. So my own version is updated to May 2020. So uh, let me just take you through uh, the various parts of the Power BI window. Then I will now be able to tell you what we want to try to replicate. So once you open Power BI for the very first time, you will see this white canvas. This white canvas is your report canvas. This is where all the magic happens in terms of the visualization that you want to create. Now, if you look towards your right on after the canvas window, you will see the filter, the filter pan pane, uh, panel. Uh, that's what you will see there. That's the filter panel. Then to the other side, you will see the visualization part. Now, this visualization is where most of the data visualization happen. So this uh, gives you an example of a stack bar chart. Uh, this gives you a stack column chart. Uh, this is a pie chart, a donut chart, and all the other parts of it. So this is where you visualize the data that you are trying to illustrate in a descriptive analytics form. Now, this field is currently empty at the moment when we bring in data into power bi that is when this field will be populated now to be able to bring data into power bi you go to the home tab this is where you bring data into power bi you can see this point say get data this is where most of the magic happens and you can bring in a lot of data into power bi and all the data you can bring you can bring it from an excel file 
you can bring it from a power bi data, uh, data data set a data flow an sql server a text file you can bring in data from web into power bi and there are some other sources that you can bring data into power bi from as well the sources you can bring it from a file you can bring it from a database you can bring it from a power platform you can bring it from a cloud uh software you can bring it from online services uh talking about sharepoint Di microsoft dynamics or any other integration that you have all of these places you can actually bring your data into power bi from there so the illustration we're going to be doing what the uh, practical session we're going to be doing right away i'm going to be bringing power bi i'm going to be uh creating a hr dashboard 